Hello everyone, and welcome to Friends of the Feather. This is Fun Fact Friday. Fun Fact Friday is where I think of a subject that I'm interested in and I learn about it. And I come up with five facts that I may have heard, didn't have as confirmation, or didn't know. As a woman of a certain age, in my life, I uh, find it fascinating that I'm still learning. And that was one thing when I was a kid that I was absolutely thirsty for knowledge. My dad got these, uh, got this um, set of encyclopedias when I was, he got the Encyclopedia Britannica set. Oh yeah, that's right. And uh, they came one once a month in the mail. I think you paid as you go. And uh, I, would, I had set out to read them all. That was my goal as a seven or eight year old child. I was going to read the entire Encyclopedia Britannica. I was giving myself a month for each one as they came. Uh, that did not happen, I will say. <laughs> Safely say that did not happen. But anyway, fun fact Friday. All right, today's, let me get out my fact sheet. Ready, got my fact sheet. All right, fun fact number one. Now, fun fact number one, I did actually know. I Well, I had heard it, but I didn't actually know it for sure. And I don't think we anyone knows it for sure, but, I mean, the people who wrote this seem to think they know. Um, chickens are descendants of dinosaurs. Now, see, I, I had guessed that because if you watch them, and if you've watched Jurassic Park, because we know that Jurassic Park is, you know, a reference of definite true story but the raptors in Jurassic Park and the way they describe them I guess they would probably be modeled off of bones that they've found of raptors of like the velociraptors that's what these guys remind me of they remind me of velociraptors so I can totally see that being 100% true 100% um, fun fact number two is that the modern domesticated chicken is actually descended from Asia. It's, de it's a descendant of the Asian jungle chicken, or jungle bird, sorry. Um, but they, can, they trace it back, and that's where all breeds of domesticated chicken came from, which I did not know until upper management pointed it out to me about, like, three months ago. He uh, was doing some research on chickens, and he pointed out that fun fact. Thank you, Upper Management, for g keeping us all much well-informed about what we're interested in. And um, so I thought that was really cool, that they're actually, like, they're, they're like, Chinese. Chickens are all Chinese. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, um, fun fact number three is they have color vision. And better than people. Hmm. Now I have to say, upper management is colorblind, so we have, we can strike him out from this. But I can see some pretty brilliant color, you know. And uh, so I thought that that was pretty interesting. I, uh, I so it makes me wonder what I, I've often wonder, like with my dogs. I would love to be able to see like what their vision looks like. Like I know that we've, you know, you see the shows and stuff on TV where they like simulate what what a dog's vision is like because their sense of smell is so tied to their sense of vision. But and of course there's, you know, the the stories that they can only see in shades of gray, um, that they don't see color. Uh, all that, but chickens do see color, definitely, I guess. I, I, how do you test for that? I don't know. I just don't know. But anyway, they apparently they've determined that chickens have color vision. So, fun fact number four, they have great memories and can remember chicken, other chickens and people, which I, I believe that. I believe that very well. But I will have to say that it almost seemed like these five, because these, these two groups were separated for a while, and it seems like these five were, um, were still, like, 
alienating these five and they had been separated for maybe like two months maybe less six weeks maybe but um, they acted like they didn't re remember them so that's strange I wonder why they I wonder why they acted like that now Felicity and Jack and I know Felicity and mofo these two they remember these chickens I know they do because they they go over there and they they uh, they commiserate with them they like hang out with them and so, like when I first put these to these chickens in here they would hang out with these guys all the time so I know that they do remember that kind of thing and they remember like when I come down here they come running so they do remember me I think so that's pretty cool and so hmm anyway we'll think about that some more um, the other thing that I thought was really cool I had no idea that this was a thing um, hens communicate with their chicks while they're in the eggs I thought that was so cool. I was like, really? So that makes me wonder, like, because I, I wondered this when I got these guys, because they they all come from farms, you know, the, the hatcheries. None of these chickens actually, like, were raised under a butt. When I grew up, that's how we, that's how we got other chickens. We didn't go, well, sometimes we went to an auction, but we didn't go to tractor supply. Sometimes the feed store would have little peeps. But those little peeps, I, you know, I, I don't know if it was how they would get those. I guess that would be from a chicken farm, too. But anyway, we would raise our own. You know, we, we would have a broody hen. We would, we would grab the eggs. We would sit her down. And she would hatch babies. My granddad had little separate, um, little separate pens for them. But I didn't know that they remembered people. I thought, or I didn't know they remembered people, and I didn't know that they communicated with their chick, with their chicks, like in the egg. That's pretty cool. That is really, really cool. Forgive me while I use you there. So, fun fact Friday with Friends of the Feather. If you wonder what this crazy show is about, just take a look in the description. I've written it all out for everyone. I, uh, I try to keep it at 10 minutes, so I was tired of wasting time saying it over and over again for the people that have already seen it. That's really boring. I hate that. There, I love YouTube. I, I watch a lot of YouTube, and um, there's certain um, people that I watch, and they repeat the same thing over and over again at the beginning of their videos, which I understand because, you know, you want to attract new people. You want to let them know what you're about right off the top of the, you know, right off the top. So that, that way, if it's something they're interested in, they'll stick around. If not, they'll, you know, chill and see you later. But I get really tired of saying the same things over and over again. Like, I can't do that. So, I've put it in the description, what we're about, what we're doing, the explanation for the titles, all of that. Who these guys are, our furry friends in the yard. I've put it all down there for everyone so you guys can go take a look. Now, I can handle saying that maybe once a day <laughs> for a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, that's, that, that's what we're doing. So if, you, if you're new, you don't know what's going on, you wanted to know about some cool chicken facts, but you were like, who is this crazy lady? Well, it's in the description box. So take a look down below. I have all these guys' breeds, their names, what, what they're all about. And the dogs, I, ha I haven't added the quails yet because, again, I, I wanted to make sure that everybody survived. <laughs> because we, all, we had a close call yesterday, I'm telling you. It was, uh, it, I, I, was I was questioning whether everyone was going to survive that. So, um, yeah, that, that's what it is. Fun Fact Friday. So if you guys know any fun facts about chickens, please feel free to share. Please share your thoughts, comment below, make sure you guys subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much to the 106, that's right, I've, I'm holding the phone. I was holding up fingers, but I can't do that anymore because it's six and I only have five digits on one hand, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll start using my toes. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, that's kind of gross. I don't think I'll do that. I think the ratio of people that get grossed out by feet is probably greater than the people who kind of like a little feet too much. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go without that. We'll just say thank you, 106 subscribers. 
All right, everyone. The 10 minute mark has been achieved. Well, that's good that they're starting to come out of their shell a little bit. Oh, get that? <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. They just came out of their shell. They're chickens. They come out of shells. <laughs> well, that hit me like a wrecking ball. All right, guys. Happy Friday. Have a wonderful day. I hope it's a good way to start out your weekend. Oh my gracious, that was a sneak attack and I don't think it was necessary. 10 points from Gryffindor. I've been reading back through uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what do you do? You, you read Harry Potter. But yeah. All right, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.